Um, well, while this is loading, actually, uh, I just want to comment that I really enjoyed hearing the word empathy being thrown around, and I really enjoyed kind of like that word coming into our common vernacular more and more. Um, and uh, it, the reason is because it, it's, I, maybe for all of us, it is the seed of great design. Um, but I don't personally use that word that often because it doesn't appeal to everyone, and I really want you know, the idea of empathy, like the word to not get in the way of the idea of empathy. Pretty pictures. We have lots of these on our website. Um, so uh, yeah, I do design research at uh, Airbnb. Um, and uh, I've actually spent most of my career at, at only two companies, one Airbnb several years now and uh, before that, IDEO. And that really informs a lot of my, my thinking and process. So, the only thing that I wanna say to you today is really, really basic. If you've been doing UX, um, the best way to think outside of the box is to simply get out. Get out of the box, like get your brain out of the box that is your computer. Get outside of your box that is your that is your desk, get outside of the box that is your building where you work. Um, you know, this is probably like a really, really obvious thing to say, but it's funny, um, when was the last time that you were really committed to this and were really doing it, and is everyone on your team doing it? Are they all getting out? So, um, the thing that I love about getting out is it feels a little bit like cheating, it's just so simple. So, for example, you can get out by going to visit your customers. This is Araceli. I visited her a bit back, and that's Buddy. Um, very cute, new to hosting, and told me all about it. You just ask why. You say, show me. It's easy, right? Um, or you live the experience yourself. You cannot have true empathy um, if you're not actually living the experience yourself. So. We uh, give travel credit to every employee at Airbnb. Everyone travels every quarter, um, has that experience themselves. And actually, over a third of the people who work for the company are hosts on Airbnb. Um, how many of you have hosted on Airbnb? Oh, cool. That's great. Not bad. Not as good as Airbnb employees. Um, and uh, just to throw a fun one in there, um, you know, co-creating, like getting outside of, of the box of your computer and co-creating and like making it physical is also a great way to um, think outside the box. So, um, design is human or it should feel that way. Your design should feel human. And this is actually especially, I want to talk about how it applies to Airbnb and how we've used it recently in our most uh, recent mobile app. Um, we're not a technology company. Airbnb is not a technology company. We are a hospitality company. We're a travel company. We're participants in the sharing economy. Um, but we're not a technology company, and this is core to how we think about uh, problems like this. So just one question that we asked ourselves last year when we were redesigning uh, the mobile experience for hosts, hosts like these, hosts like some of you, was um, how might we help hosts respond to a guest inquiry quickly and with confidence? So this is like one small question in the grand, like complex world of Airbnb. Um, all we want hosts to do is be able to get this inquiry, you know, a request to stay at their place, and to be able to quickly have the right information that's presented in the right way to make a quick decision. Great, cool. Um, so we learned about that question by simply getting out and uh, I want to show you some of the decisions that we made um, on this one screen. That's what getting out does for you. It helps you make great decisions on behalf of your user more easily. So um, this is from Brian Chesky's account. Uh, Brian is our CEO and you can actually book his couch if you would like. He's in Zoma. Um, so Sean sent him an inquiry. And uh, immediately, it opens up to the message that Sean sent. Why? Because these are two people who are meeting each other for the first time, and the core of this interaction is simply the message. So it opens up to the message. 
easy. And uh, another thing is that, again, these people are, they've never met before. We want to introduce them, right? Now the photo is huge. We want to humanize these people to each other. If you can relate to the anxiety of a host who, um, you know, is letting someone into their personal space, perhaps, um, you know, you can, you, these things become more obvious. Simply a large photo, is, it makes a, a world of a difference. Okay, so now we can see um, the next thing that, that hosts often want to know about is, you know, they want to check this person out, make sure that they're okay. And the next thing that they want to know is the practical thing. They want to know, wait, what are the dates again? When is this person coming? For how long? How many people? I need to make a practical decision. So present all of the practical information with a calendar. And at any time, of course, you can uh, make this decision. And all we want to do is, is uh, give hosts the confidence um, to make this decision quickly by providing them with the right kind of information and presenting it in the right way so that they can do that. So, um, This is uh, Andrew Vilsack, and that's a slightly blurry picture of him. Um, he and I worked together a lot last year when we were, you know, kind of thinking about the, uh, the host mobile experience. And he and many other people at Airbnb say things like this. If you get out, it helps you make decisions. And in fact, it feels so easy that it doesn't even feel like making a decision. You simply know the right thing to do um, in your user experience to make your user happy.